Hello traders! In today's session, we're going to explore the Linear Regression Oscillator. This powerful tool is designed to boost your trading performance by offering visual insights into potential mean reversions and trend shifts through the application of linear regression on closing prices. It aids in forecasting critical price levels and market trends. We'll break down each feature of the Linear Regression Oscillator, guide you through the setup process, and show you how to utilize it in actual trading scenarios. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video, as we'll also cover how to apply it in cryptocurrency trading towards the conclusion. Let's get started on this exciting journey. What is the Linear Regression Oscillator? The Linear Regression Oscillator is a powerful trading tool designed to give you a complete understanding of the market. First, it starts by calculating the linear regression on the closing prices over a user-defined period. This helps in identifying key market levels. Next, the indicator constructs an oscillator based on the linear regression, providing visual cues for potential mean reversions and trend changes. These cues are crucial as they represent key points where the market might react, providing traders with valuable insights into market trends, timing, structure, and potential future price movements. This comprehensive understanding makes it easier to make informed trading decisions. Setting up the indicator on your chart is a simple process. Click on Indicator. Search for Linear Regression Oscillator. Select the Linear Regression Oscillator by Chart Prime. That's it. Now let's quickly go over the key features of the Linear Regression Oscillator. The Linear Regression Oscillator is a crucial component of this indicator. It calculates a linear regression on the closing prices over a user-defined period. This helps in identifying potential mean reversions and trend changes, providing valuable insights into where the price might shift direction. Additionally, it highlights overbought and oversold conditions with specified thresholds, which are useful for spotting potential reversal points in the market. The oscillator also includes visual cues like candlestick color plotting, which changes the color of price bars based on the oscillator's value. This feature provides a quick visual representation of market conditions, helping you identify positive and negative trends at a glance. Invalidation levels are another key feature. These levels track the highest and lowest prices over a recent period, setting thresholds where the current trend signal would be considered invalid. This helps you manage risk by identifying points where the market might no longer be following the expected trend. Lastly, gradient color coding is used to enhance the visualization of oscillator values. This feature makes it easier to interpret overbought and oversold conditions, offering a colored view of market dynamics and aiding in more informed trading decisions. Now, let's delve into the components of the linear regression oscillator by adjusting the settings. In the input settings, you will find various options to customize the indicator. The length setting determines the period over which the linear regression is calculated. A longer period smooths the oscillator but may lag, while a shorter period is more responsive but noisier. The default value is set to 20. The upper threshold and lower threshold settings define the upper and lower bounds for identifying overbought and oversold conditions. The default values are 1.5 and minus 1.5, respectively. These thresholds help in pinpointing potential reversal points in the market. The plot bar color option allows you to color the price bars based on the oscillator's value, providing a visual representation of market conditions. Enabling this feature helps quickly identify the current state of the oscillator in relation to the zero line, which can be particularly useful in fast-moving markets. Additionally, the style section includes options for plots, color candles, bar colors, and labels. Enabling or disabling these will affect how these elements appear on the chart. For instance, you can customize the plot line style and thickness to suit your preference. Using these settings, you can change the appearance of the linear regression oscillator to best fit your analysis needs and trading style. For this video, we're going to use the default settings. Next, we're going to explore how we can use the Linear Regression Oscillator in our trade. By Trade Setup First, identify a swing low point. The oscillator should move from an oversold condition and cross above the lower threshold. Next, confirm the buy signal. The oscillator's color changes from blue to cyan, indicating a positive trend. Once this is confirmed, 
Enter a buy trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly below the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Here is the result. Sell trade setup. First, identify a swing high point. The oscillator should move from an overbought condition and cross below the upper threshold. Next, confirm the sell signal. The oscillator's color changes from cyan to blue, indicating a shift to a downward trend. Once this is confirmed, enter a sell trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly above the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Here is the result. For the next buy trade setup, access the oscillator settings. Enable the plot bar color option. Then click OK to apply the changes. Once you enable the plot bar color, the price bars on the chart will change color. This makes it easier to see when the market is in a positive trend, cyan, or a negative trend, blue, helping you quickly spot potential buy and sell signals. So let's look for a buy trade. First, identify a swing low point. The oscillator should move from an oversold condition and cross above the lower threshold. Next, confirm the buy signal. The oscillator's color changes from blue to cyan, indicating a positive trend. Additionally, the candle color should change from blue to cyan as well. This candle color change helps quickly confirm the buy trade. Once confirmed, enter a buy trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly below the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Let's look for a sell trade. First, identify a swing high point. The oscillator should move from an overbought condition and cross below the upper threshold. Next, confirm the sell signal. The oscillator's color changes from cyan to blue, indicating a negative trend. Additionally, the candle color should change from cyan to blue as well. This candle color change helps quickly confirm the sell trade. Once confirmed, enter a sell trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly above the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Here is the result. Now, let's apply the indicator on a cryptocurrency chart. Buy trade setup. First, identify a swing low point. The oscillator should move from an oversold condition and cross above the lower threshold. Next, confirm the buy signal. The oscillator's color changes from blue to cyan, indicating a positive trend. Additionally, the candle color should change from blue to cyan as well. This candle color change helps quickly confirm the buy trade. Once confirmed, enter a buy trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly below the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Sell trade setup. First, identify a swing high point. The oscillator should move from an overbought condition and cross below the upper threshold. Next, confirm the sell signal. The oscillator's color changes from cyan to blue, indicating a negative trend. Additionally, the candle color should change from cyan to blue as well. This candle color change helps quickly confirm the sell trade. Once confirmed, enter a sell trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly above the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Here is the result. Still on the Bitcoin chart, let's find another buy trade setup. First, identify a swing low point. The oscillator should move from an oversold condition and cross above the lower threshold. Next, confirm the buy signal. The oscillator's color changes from blue to cyan indicating a positive trend. Additionally, the candle color should change from blue to cyan as well. This candle color change helps quickly confirm the buy trade. Once confirmed, enter a buy trade on the next candle formation. Place the stop loss slightly below the most recent reversion point identified by the oscillator. Aim for a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. The Linear Regression Oscillator is a powerful tool that helps you trade more accurately and strategically. 
adding this indicator to your trading toolkit can greatly improve your decision making and boost your chances of making profitable trades. Thanks for watching our detailed guide today. Remember, the best way to get good at using any trading tool is to keep practicing and stay adaptable to market changes. Happy trading!